Hey, it's Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com. I wanted to show you the Kindle Fire that I just picked up from Amazon. It's the seven inch roughly designed Kindle video, high quality video and all that. It has a, um, it's a Wi-Fi connected kind of a device. It allows you to uh, load all different kinds of apps. You can, different books and things like that, different kinds of media. What I like about it is that you know, for a seven inch device, it works rather well. It's, it's something that allows you to do all different kinds of, um, different kinds of media uses. So for example, this is uh, watching an Amazon video on there. So I've just pushed play. It's loading up the video right now. And there we go. So this is a Batman video, of course. So that's how fast it loaded. It was pretty quick. It's streaming over the internet. And so on Wi-Fi, that's how fast it is to get to Batman. I will save that episode for later. And when I told it I wanted to hear some music, I just pushed into my cloud music. And it's pretty quick. It shoots right on there. Um, Kindle Books, hit pause here. Kindle Books on here look just like they do on a Kindle, only, you know, a different style. So uh, it brings my playlist together. It, I'm going to pull up Ready Player One, which is an interesting book uh, in the future, talking about, um, uh, set up to be about um, the 1980s and all that, and it works just like a Kindle tends to work. Flip the pages around and all that. So I think it works great. I'm, I'm a little surprised by people, you know, complaining about it, having so many things they don't like about it. I mean, I've only just had it for a few minutes, but I think it works great. CC Chapman pointed out that it's slippery. It is slippery. He is not wrong in saying so. Kindle Fire, a couple hundred bucks. If you're thinking of something really neato to give somebody for Christmas, uh, it's the kind of device that would work okay for a uh, loved one or somebody that might be doing eBooks. Remember that with Kindles, you can make them bigger and smaller like iPads. Uh, it's a lower price point than an iPad. It is meant to, to compete with other devices, more like the Galaxy Tab or maybe the Playbook and all that. It's not really meant to compete with uh, the iPad. A lot of people complained that it'd be hard to type or that there was all this, you could feel the cheapness going on. I guess if you're a real technology nerd, if you're like really like, oh, I'm gonna be exactly the same as the other stuff, you can tell it's a little bit different. But you know what? I think the average person using it isn't gonna be missing out on anything. They're not gonna feel anything bad. Like I mentioned, there's apps, but it's a very limited version of the Android app store. I found some of the stuff I needed, like Evernote right away, but no Google Plus app. Pay attention, Amazon. I'm Chris Brogan, just a quick review of the Amazon Kindle Fire. If you want to look at this a little bit more, uh, come to chrisbrogan.com slash Kindle Fire.